Hey guys, welcome back to our second video, Catalyst Physical Therapy. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, ate plenty of turkey, and watched plenty of football. Today we're going to be talking about posture, and the, one of the things that affects everyone on the planet is gravity. And gravity plays a big factor in our daily posture. And we're going to start off by using a melon to show the power of gravitational forces. So that was a dramatic effect of how gravity can pull something down to the earth. Uh, it's not that excessive on our body. We have ligaments and we have tendons that hold us up against gravity. And as if there wasn't enough melons already being dropped on YouTube, I'm going to have my assistant Dylan hand me another melon. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jorge Guerrero, also known as Dr. G, coming to you from Catalyst Physical Therapy. This is our first segment in our three installment series of how gravity affects posture. So everything on the planet has a center of mass. Every object has a center of mass. And you can see here, we can find the center of mass on this dowel by balancing it on my fingers, just like that. Right? That's your center of mass. So your center of mass, your body has a center of mass. And your body center of mass, throw me that spine. No, don't throw me the spine. Put to me in my hand, because we handle our spines with care. Our center of mass on the spine, this is the front of the spine. Here's the back of the spine. Neck, mid back, lower back. Sacrum, or your S. Your center of mass is gonna land right in front maybe about three inches in front of S2. So here I have a visual of gravity. If you can see gravity, you would want your center of mass to pass maybe two to three inches in front of S2. So, with that being said, this is your ideal posture right here. If you could see gravity, you, want, you will want gravity to pass right through your ear, your shoulder, your hip, your knee, and slightly in front of the ankle. Now, there's two types of postures that are affect people the most. And that's gonna be your anterior sway where your hips fall in front of the line of gravity, and your posterior sway where your hips fall behind the line of gravity. Now, what you want is you want that line of gravity to go right down the middle of the hips. And this can be reproduced at home easily. All you need is a plumb line. You get a rope or a string with a weight at the end, and then just utilize a mirror to check yourself. And by doing that, you can reduce the amount of discomfort you have in your spine, your neck, and your lower back. You can also improve the muscle function in your body. That's it for today's segment. Stay tuned for our second segment, which is going to cover center of gravity from the front. I'm Dr. Jorge Guerrero, aka Dr. G, Catalyst Physical Therapy, San Antonio, Texas.